let's get to NATO. ECB president, odd character in her position to be commenting on the former president, but has commented on the former president, Donald Trump, said that Donald Trump was a threat to some European interests, including NATO. I'd like to talk about NATO with you. We all would. It's interesting to me how the Europeans constantly frame this as America not helping us, the former president not helping us. Can you help us all understand how European countries and governments have been helping themselves? What's happened with defence spending in the last four years? Was, have they put NATO in a better place? And this was exactly Trump's main issue, that we were not spending enough. And he was right. He was right, uh, because uh, America is about 50% of NATO economy. They were at that moment, when he was president, spending about 70, 75% of the NATO budget. And the rest of NATO was only doing 25%. So he, had, he was completely right in forcing us to live up to the 2% commitment. So we invested another 5 billion, uh, which brought us to the 20 billion, which is almost 2%. We are still not exactly there, but almost. And many other countries have, have done the same. So I, I always thought that he had that's a genuine argument here. And by the way, for the US to be in NATO is also in their strategic direct interest. If Russia would gain access to this part of the world, it would also be a threat for the US. So NATO is not just a project from history, never repeat the mistakes of the Second World War. It is also about security now, today, also and for the US. And this is why you've told your colleagues when Trump was president that you shouldn't criticize him. He is right when it comes to some of these multilateral, multinational organizations that more should be done. We need to look inside. No. But you're potentially going to be working with him again if you get the top job as Secretary General of NATO, which rumor her mail has it that it's going to you, and Trump was to come back. How would you handle him? Because people say to me that you were a Trump whisperer of sorts. No, I, 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 no, what I always said is we have not voted in the U.S. I'm a Dutch citizen. I cannot vote in the United States. So we have to dance with whoever is on the dance floor. Uh, and in the end, uh, for the whole of NATO territory, it is crucial that you have amicable personal relations with the other people. Uh, and in the end, in the US, it is not only the president uh, making all the policies. There is also the very forceful and powerful Senate Foreign Relations Committee. The House is involved. And there is a strong transatlantic tradition in the US. Uh, and I always felt again that, that Trump was right on this issue of uh, paying up uh, to our commitments. But is that also a confirmation that you are taking that job at NATO? I'm not commenting, because I said something about it in October, and I've decided to, to end it there. So 